Okay, Sunday. So Sunday is small stuff. Um, I'm going to expand it a bit from last Sunday. So abs, calves. So I'm going to do more, more sets of calves. Like right, previously, I was just doing one set. Uh, biceps, I'm going to do biceps and forearms. Uh, finish off with a bit of neck. Yeah? So a slightly expanded version. So making it, making it into a proper session. Rather than uh, a brief after four. Uh, okay, I'll kick off with a... Well, don't know, don't know how, uh, don't know about the resistance on this thing. I mean, I just invented it. Just it's. Uh, I think I got to, I got to thirty reps with just the metal spring. So I just added this bit of band. Uh, see if it's doable. I don't know. Just try it. Okay. So this is this is a brief warm up. You can say. So I'm just going to do some. Uh, let's read it else, isn't it? But I'm just getting all the shoulders. Anyway. something that's like 20 odd reps but, uh, it is what it is 11 but um, hopefully it will turn into 20 reps eventually okay so all of this is going to be done uh, I must say all of it We do this emon. Yeah, so more than likely all of it will be done emon. Uh, I think about this. Let's have a timer. That's a good idea if we do emon. Battery's gone. Charge the thing up. Not to worry, I use the watch. That's the problem when you're using sort of like, yeah, you, you film it with an iPad, mobile phone to. Um, the timer, uh, sometimes using the um, watch for the heart rate, it's like so much electronica that you uh, have to be on top of. So, the mobile phone's out of charge, but see how long it lasts. Okay, so what's this one? This is leg rate, well, not toast to bar, toast to bar, supersetted with. Cable pulley crunches, I believe they are. Anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, ah, before I do it, before I do it, I remember last time this was a problem. Kept kicking that one. Okay, let's go now. So last time we got six. at all. The setup was horrible. I'm going to run out of time, aren't I? Okay. I think that, that might be better. So 
But yeah, seven was not bad at all. Look. Have a quick scan. I'm going for eight. Huge collection of broken pencils everywhere. Okay, so seven and eight so far. That's rubbish. Can't stop it spinning round and round. Okay. That was another set of seven. Yeah, I've got eight. Oh. Yeah, the improvements there. The progress. But, uh, set up rubbish. Try again. Okay, so last time I got five. So this time I'm going to get six, hopefully. Rubbish, I'm going to leave it, leave it. I'm spinning all over the place. Let's stick to this thing. There must be a way to set that up better, but well. on that thing, not stable. Just gonna do with these uh, cables. Yeah, pity, it's a good move, but uh, just a bad setup. 
sit with these on the e-bone for a minute, a minute or two. Imperfection, eh? Imperfection. Is reality. So I've dropped down to one set every minute rather than one set every two minutes when you alternate it. Uh, I'll drop it down to uh, okay, 20 kilos. In fact, 25. Drop it down 25. Yeah, drop it down to 20. Six. Okay, last set, I think. That's ten sets all together. Uh, next time I'll do all ten sets on this uh, cable pulley. Unless I work out a way to make this stable. The leg raises like a tote bar. Said I'm, I'm expanding this session a bit, so what I'm going to add in now are a few side bends. Okay, uh, just a couple of sets for today. 
bigger. I remember doing this, getting very enthusiastic about side bends, and the uh, the next day, the pain being tremendous, you know, the uh, muscle soreness. So, my thought with these is introduce gradually and proceed with caution. Uh, not sure what weight to use either. Okay, so it's 20 kilos on now. That might be enough. Let's see. If it's easier, I'll do another set. Yeah, I mean the weight on the machine is not really telling you anything. There's a lot of friction involved. I mean if I just, if I just held the weight in my hand, you know, I'd probably get about 40 kilos. And more if I practice. Okay, I think I'll do two, two sets each side. side bend you know bend over and you just have to come back up to vertical really you don't have to go all the way I don't think that's doing anything okay a pair of, so that's a pair of tens on each side so I'll do another, another pair of tens on each side and consider that to be a, a gentle beginning to doing some more side bends now we'll do some calf raises Okay, and I'm gonna do one set of twists, which uh, very possibly are a waste of time. Yeah. 
this one. I'm not convinced that they do anything at all, but I'm just going to do a minute. So. Leave it at that. I say probably a complete waste of time. But, it doesn't hurt anything, does it? And the effort involved is so minimal. Okay, so we're on the carp race. So this time, last time I just did one set. I do, if I could one set to failure, and it, and it involved sort of like a, a very, a very slow, super slow type of air with an enormous uh, pause at the, at the bottom stretch position. Which I'm not gonna do that at all today. I'm just gonna do some fairly normal Fairly normal reps, do multiple sets, so uh, just going to go back to the traditional default. It's on a very tight time at Emum, so that will reduce the set of the reps. Lengthen it a bit. Yeah, it's added a bit more weight on and it changes. When I reset it, put the chain on too short. Yeah, I think I'll go for about five sets today and then over time expand that to about ten sets. doing calves you can get some tremendous uh, soreness the next day I find it's always if anything it's gonna be calves obliques adductors that's in the thigh uh, maybe chest the rest I, I re oh, abdominals sometimes yeah abdominals especially if I do those uh, Ab wheels. Six. 
I mean, not to, not to say that all the stuff does not become sore, but that's in, those seem to be the worst ones for soreness. And then after that, it's just sort of like joint problems, tendons, rather than muscle soreness. Okay, one more set. Must say, I enjoy EMOM more than waiting around doing big, you know, big compounds with big, big rest periods. I like EMOM. Doing, you know, liking what you do is a, is a factor in this. But uh, not to say that uh, things that you don't particularly enjoy are not really, really useful. So I suppose you have to uh, intellectualize it somewhat. Okay. I'm not particularly keen on doing this move, but I know it's going to do me a lot of good, therefore motivation. Okay, so that's calf raises done. Uh, we do a bit of arm work. So, forearms. Let's see if we can get a good set up. Okay, so last time on this, I did five sets. Uh, so I think it, oh God, why is it not written down? Okay, I think it was 22 and a half kilos. Okay, I'm gonna put it to uh, 25. About and five. So, but there to an ass cause. Okay, and today it's going to be ten sets. I think on this little stuff you can throw no end of volume at it, right? In the grand scheme of things, it's not going to fatigue you or anything. Very little anyway. Uh, and that's probably sort of like, you know, 200 sets of this in, in, you know, is equivalent to one set of deadlifts. <laughs> something, something of that nature. Okay, so still on the emo. Bit more chalk. I don't know if it does any use any good for this. Drink of water. Let's do some wrist curls. Probably about ten I think. Dunno. Wait. Okay. Sounds 
good. It's pretty hard. Might have got 11, but. Okay, 25 kilos, we'll be right. Ten sets. more like close to the edge. Six. Quick drop off there. Just put it up. Ten, ten, nine, six. Okay. Uh, yeah, last time I did four sets. So last time with the twenty-two and a half, I got twelve, eight, eight, eight. This time with twenty-five, I've got ten, ten, nine, six. So let's get another set at least now. No, take the weight down, I think. Six. Oh, yeah. Take it down. So empty bar.
seven. Time is up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets. Okay, three more, let's get ten. Then I think I'm going to do some uh, hammer curls. So hammer curls are, I suppose, part forearm, part bicep, part, yeah, forearms and biceps, aren't they? Hammer curls. Yeah. Brachialis. Okay, last set coming up. So, I'm a curl, finish your neck. That's it for today. All the small stuff done. Okay, so I'm a curl. Fairly recent purchase. It's a pair of hex dumbbells. They're a pair of 15 kilos. Uh, no doubt I will be selling them on very shortly. But I think I'll just uh, get some use out of them first, then I'll sell them on. <sighs> so, the last set of six written down. Hammer curls, just a few sets. Don't know yet, not many. Not many. Seeing it's a new a new move. My elbow is still not right. Uh, I mean it's, it's not terrible, but it's not perfect either. But I'm I'm hoping that uh, doing these hammer curls will help. I mean I could be wrong, I could be aggravating it. So, end on end I suppose. Okay, let's do this. Eight. 
13, 14, 18. Yeah, so I'm not, I'll not go overboard on the volume and see, see how it feels tomorrow. Another sweaty day. It's not as bright, but it's still quite warm. Ooh, that was fast. Yeah, they they get hard quick. Each set runs into the next one. Uh, I think I'll do a, a single set of pulley curls, seeing it's all set up more or less. So 20 kilos should be quite quite easy. Yeah, nice dumbbells though. So okay, five. I'm gonna do another set. One more set. <laughs> it's a volume monster, isn't it? It's a volume monster, it's like uh, you always want more. More, 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 more. And why not? Let's have it. Four. Yeah. I'm simply just not. I'm just not a believer in any any protocol, any system, whatever. None of it. I'm not. I don't believe in any of it. I, I, you know, I do phases of volume. I do phases of intensity. Sometimes it's the, you know, I want to do the power lifts. Sometimes I want to do body weight stuff. I just let it flow. And uh, well, it's not a job. I'm not doing this as a profession. I mean. I'm not, I'm not trying to get contest lean or anything like that, you know, to me that's, you know, that's pain. I mean, I've been, in my time, a couple of times I've got fairly lean. But, uh, you know, what does it entail? It entails meticulous dieting, for me anyway, you know, I'm not, I'm not naturally lean at all, I'm naturally fat, I believe. Yeah? I mean, I, 
I think I've got some genetic advantages in in uh, being able to um, put on muscle. I mean, I'm old now, so it's a, you know, it's a different story, really. But I think when I was younger, I could put on muscle. I think I had the skeletal structure to lift heavy, you know, and uh, I gravitated towards powerlifting. And I think I was fairly well built for powerlifting. Five foot seven, you know, the bar doesn't have to move that far. You know, somebody who's six foot tall, They've got, they've got to move the bar further. You know, you can imagine tall lifters, deadlifting. There's a long way between the bar and the floor. Uh, but yeah, you know, I always wanted to be, uh, you know, Frank Zane, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not reality, is it? It's not reality. And I think that, um, you know, the internet skews it a lot. You know, People think that sort of like 400 kilo deadlifts and squats are normal, but they're not, are they? You know, they're, they're freak, freakishly weird. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, you know, I'm definitely carrying a lot of blubber, but, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, as long as I can knock out. And I was worth of cardio and I can lift some weights. I'm ahead of the curve. And at this point in the game, at my age, 58, looking at 59 soon enough, close to 59 and 58. Um, at this stage in the game, being good is good enough. And being elite is not worth it. Pretty much enjoy the training. I like be, I like doing training every day, something different every day, just about. You know, I enjoy it. You know, anybody who wants to say it's not optimal, okay. Uh, how do you measure enjoyment? To me, you know, I've, I've got a sedentary lifestyle, just about. You know, if I, if I, if I if I if I don't if I don't voluntarily move around, then I could sit around all day, you know, doing what, you know, a bit, maybe a bit of gardening, water pots or whatever. Yeah, my work is sedentary. Computer, sitting around at work, the little that I do nowadays. Yeah, so even when I was working full time, it was, it was, all, it was all, all basically traveling, Sitting, travelling, sitting, no great effort involved, apart from when I was younger and I did uh, other jobs. Construction work, that was a different story altogether. You know, believe you me, when I did construction work, there wasn't much time for training. Now, there's no volume work done, done then. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's reality, isn't it? Reality, re you know, reality is not the Mr. Olympia stage. You know, rea reality is not ripped to shreds at 250 pounds or whatever yeah that, that's PED reality okay let's do some network so the network you know it's all this stupid uh, gotta wear some stupid hat just to protect my ears from this harness and you know, one day I'll buy a different harness out but I suspect it'll be the same outcome <laughs> don't know don't know, have I got a bad harness? Maybe. I mean, it, work, it works, but it just irritates the crap out of my neck, out of my ears. Okay, let's just check some numbers first before I kick off. So last time on the network, 10 kilo, which is loaded, I got 21, and then it fell to 10. So obviously 21 just takes about a full minute, and then you don't get any rest. Go on then, let's see if we can get 22. Simple as that. 22 will be the advance. 22 is an advance. Whatever comes next. One, two, three.
12. Twenty. Twenty-three. Good stuff. Twenty-three. Okay, but no rest now. Hardly. Well, let's see if we can still get ten. Ten. Yeah, I think maybe a different protocol. Or oh, put the weight up. Put the weight up. Yeah, that's a better idea. Stick to E mum and put the weight up. So I do get a bit of a, a rest between sets. Okay. Better rest this time. So let's see if we can get eleven. Ten. Eleven. Okay, nice. Good, good. So last time we did four sets, so let's do five. So yeah, I mean, apart from apart from the uh, the problem of the uh, toaster bar setup, I mean, even, even the toaster bars were improving, but the setup was terrible. I just could not get a good uh, consistency. Ten. So apart from, apart from the problem with the toaster bar setup, everything I think has gone up. Been a lot more volume today, and yeah, it just feels pretty good altogether. I mean, it's I mean, even so, even so, I've been you know, I've been um, progressed the uh, overload. It's still a fairly easy session, really. I mean, every every single move is relatively easy. So one one last set on this. That's it. I've done. Good stuff. Good stuff. So last time I got 21, 10, 10, 10. This time I got 23, 10, 11, 10, 10. So yeah, that's all. That's all up. Either up or some sets up, some sets the same. So overall up. Good, good. No problem. Ah. Yeah, I think that's it for today. So tomorrow it's back to the uh, the barbell, press behind neck, squat, kettlebell swing, I believe. That, that'll be the order. Uh, I'm thinking for the press behind neck, I am going, you know, I'm, I'm still carrying on with the specialization idea, but I'm going to move into uh, 10 sets of 10. 
or thereabouts, something like 10 sets of 10. Uh, I'm thinking that the uh, the very, very heavy stuff, you know, I got to, I think, was it 52 and a half kilos? 52 and a half kilos for a single. You know, I, not, I noticed that it's, you know, it's causing me quite a lot of pain. You know, just, just at that moment in time, really, but it, it goes away. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really wanting to hammer the joints or the tendons or whatever. I'm more interested in the muscles. Uh, so I think tomorrow I'm going to attempt something like 10 sets of 10. Now exactly exactly how I'm, I do it, I'll have to play it by ear. But that's, that's my thought. But anyway, today's session, I'm going to say, yeah, okay. Another tick. Good one. And that's it. Nothing, nothing terribly bad about it. And a lot of stuff was positive about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.